Mac of McGow, everybody. It's time for another donated uh, track by track album battle episode. And his name is Stephen Mandel. He wanted me to put Lick It Up versus Born Again. Which album do I like more? Easily. Love this album, but easily. Absolutely worship Born Again. I have no problem with the sound of this album. Band does. A lot of people do. I don't. And uh, it's just a masterpiece in my ears. This one's great, though. This is a great album. If you, you know, you've been a subscriber to my channel long enough, you know how I feel about it. I don't dislike it at all. Except for the title track. All right, so let's do this, all right, Steve Mandel? Let's do this, all right. And I didn't count the track, so Steven, I hope you got it right. <clears throat> all right, now, first we got uh, Exciter versus Trashed. Both great, but trashed. Some people were upset I picked trashed over Hole in the Sky. More than one, I, think. I believe it was two. Oh, people are funny. All right, Not for the Innocent versus Stone Age. Not for the Innocent. Stone Age is just a little instrumental. So, hey, there, just got one. Uh, Disturbing the Priest versus uh, Lick It Up. My favorite track off the album versus my least favorite track that I can't stand. Disturbing the Priest, easily. Two for Sabbath. All right. Uh, the Dark versus my favorite Kiss song of all time. Young and Wasted. Giving another one a kiss. It's a tie. This is a good battle. They're going back and forth. Right on Steve. Steven. All right, then we got... Uh, Zero the Hero versus Gimme More. And I, and I like Gimme More, but it's not a, it's a no-brainer. Zero the Hero. All right, now we flip the albums over. And we got Digital Bitch versus All Hell's Breaking Loose. You know, that's kind of tough. They're both pretty close. All Hell's Breaking. You know, I'm going to go with Digital Bitch. I just, I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's a wee better. It's a wee bit better. Oh, I forgot to do my little commercial. I'm supposed to do commercials between uh, before side two. Where is it? Is it over here? Here's my commercial for this track by track. Twisted Sister, live at the marquee, is fucking amazing. Dee Snyder, one of the greatest frontmen of all time, and you hear it on here. His stage banter amazing definitely better than Paul Stanley that's for damn sure all right uh, then we got uh, born again versus a million to one Wow we fuck oh. god they're both mellow and killer I'm gonna give it oh this hurts I know what I'm going to give it to, but this hurts. A million to one. Wow. Ooh, Lick It Up is in the lead. Four to two. Four to three. All right, then we got, uh, yeah, there is, all right, there's one more track on the Lick It Up, but you know what? That's okay, because I'm going to add The Fallen. The track that didn't make the album, but it's on the deluxe edition, so we're still going to have it even. But please, if you're going to donate, make sure the tracks are equal. But Steven, no problem, my brother. I got you covered, bro. I got you covered for that extra track. Um, Hotline versus Fits Like a Glove. Man, they're both great, but Hotline, man. Oh, now Born Again has caught up. It's a tie. Then we got Keep It Warm versus Dance All Over Your Face. Keep It Warm. Another one for Sabbath. All right. The Sabbath album is done. But I got you, Steven. I got you, brother. We're going to add The Fallen. Killer song that should have made the album. Versus a killer song on this album on the eighth day. Gets bashed a lot. Hey, whatever. I love it. 
Originally, uh, Boys Are Gonna Rock, if you listen to the Warrior version musically, that's Boys Are Gonna Rock. That later was changed musically on the Vinnie Vincent Invasion first album. So what do I like more, The Fallen or yeah. On the Eighth Day? Both great, but you know what? The Fallen should have made the fucking album. It's that good. It's amazing. It wins. So, Born Again came while it was losing or almost lost. Born Again got one, two, three, four, five, six. And Lick It Up got four. What do you all think? If you were to compare both these albums track by track, what would be your listing? Somebody keeps calling me on Skype, I see. Better go turn that off. Um, leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Which album, you know, track by track, would you pick? And, uh, hey, if you want to donate, my PayPal's in the description below. And uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell for notifications. Thank you so much, especially you, Stephen, for watching. Smack him a gob. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault, on Spreaker, YouTube, and iTunes. Subscribe. The links are below. Looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, Rat Sound Review Network has plenty of shows to choose from. Like Rat Sound Review, where they discuss the latest rock and metal news as well as interviews and albums. Album vs. Album, the King Diamond Podcast, with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and sometimes this guy. Smack him a gob! Ralph Vieira is also on our network with the Vieira Bowl. There's also Old Man Metal's Musings, where he discusses heavy metal and beer. Music is Life with Lou Mavs. The Right Opinion for those who love politics. A South Park podcast called Suck My Balls. The Infinite Fringe. A watch-along wrestling show called Beyond Bushido, ex-Stradivarius guitarist, the Timo Tolki podcast, and the great Harry Barnett with I Don't Even Like Podcasts. So check out RatSaddleReview.com or search RatSaddleReview on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and more.